I'm going to share my screen. Good morning and welcome to Morning Devotions with the community of St. Andrews in Glenwood, Maryland. My name is Robert. I'll serve as leader today. We are recording this so that others can access it at a time that is convenient for them. Let's take just a moment to prepare ourselves to pray together. One thing I have asked of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to behold the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. Who is it that you seek? We seek the Lord, our God. Do you seek him with all your heart? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your soul? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your mind? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Do you seek him with all your strength? Amen. Lord, have mercy. Rejoice, people of God. Celebrate the life within you and Christ's presence in your midst. Our eyes shall be opened. The presence will have new meaning, and the future will be bright with hope. Rejoice, people of God. Bow your heads before the one who has our wisdom and our strength. We place ourselves before our God, that we may be touched and cleansed by the power of God's Spirit. Lord. To whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The earth is the Lord's, for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Be joyful in the Lord, all you lands. Serve the Lord with gladness, and come before his presence with a song. Know this, the Lord himself is God. He himself has made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving. Go into his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and call upon his name. For the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his faithfulness endures from age to age. The earth is the Lord's for he made it. Come, let us adore him. Our meditation this morning uh, is taken from Richard Rohr's uh, website from the Center for Action and Contemplation. Uh, and it is a type of meditation. So we will read through it the first time. Uh, just uh, uh, listen and take it in as much as you can. Think about what... Uh, connects for you, what uh, uh, feels like it might be fruitful. Buddhist loving kindness, or metta, practice counteracts the sense of powerlessness that contributes to the anxiety of not experiencing that all will be well. Metta practice also awakens compassion and reminds us of our interdependence. It can be an antidote to the usual selfish sense of happiness, which prioritizes our well being and ignores or denies responsibility for the well being of others. I offer this version of loving kindness practice adapted from meditation teacher Stephen Smith. We begin with loving ourselves. For unless we have a measure of this unconditional love and acceptance for ourselves, it is difficult to extend it to others. Then we include others who are special to us and ultimately all living things. Gradually, both the visualization and the meditation phrases blend into the actual experience, the feeling of loving kindness. Take a comfortable posture, Begin to focus around your heart center, breathing in and out from that area. Next, evoke a kind feeling toward yourself. 
drop beneath any areas of self-judgment or self-hatred to the place where we care for ourselves, where we want strength and health and safety for ourselves. Continuing to breathe in and out, use either these traditional phrases or ones you choose for yourself. Say or think them several times. May I be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May I be safe and protected. May I be free of mental suffering or distress. May I be happy. May I be free of physical pain and suffering. May I be healthy and strong. May I be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully, with ease. Next, move to a person who most invites a feeling of loving kindness in you and repeat the praises for this person. May she or he be free from inner and outer harm and danger. Now move to a neutral person, someone for whom you feel neither strong like nor dislike. As you repeat the phrases, allow yourself to feel tenderness, loving care for their welfare. Now repeat the phrases for someone you have difficulty with, hostile feelings, resentments. If you have difficulty doing this, you can say before the phrases, to the best of my ability, I wish that you may be. If you begin to feel ill towards this person, return to the benefactor and let loving kindness arise again, then return to this feeling. Finally, extend loving kindness out to all beings using phrases such as these. May all beings be safe, happy, healthy, and live joyously. May all living beings be healed and whole, content and fulfilled. May all individuals have whatever they need. May all beings in existence have safety, happiness, health, joy, and peace. Abide in silence for a few more breaths, then journal about your experience if you like. So what do you hear in that practice that uh, feels interesting or makes you curious? I like the fact that you start with you and then you proceed to people that you're having trouble with. So it's very inclusive. Makes uh -huh. me want to think about that. <laughs> All those people I have trouble with. <laughs> But I also like that you start with someone that you you feel a deep connection with or affection for someone that helps bring that deeper awareness of loving kindness forward before you you move into that more difficult challenging right. person. I've been doing a form of that for a long time. And it's just wonderful to just pour blessings on people. You know? I think it also reminds us that we are part of a community, that we are not just, it's not just us. It's the grace extends to everybody. We do not exist in isolation. Yeah, I like his thought. It can be an antidote to selfish sense of happiness, which prioritizes our well-being. 
the discipline of just getting comfortable and quiet in preparation for the meditation is an important move that uh, I know I need to work on. <clears throat> and the it feels like, Yeah, it feels like you would have to set aside a fair amount of time for this, which time is always a challenge. I have to admit, uh, I am all, all for it until the very end when I have great trouble trying to rationalize people that kill lots with a weapon of mass destruction. Not in war, just children in schools and what we're experiencing. How do you deal with those people? Yeah. Very hard to find loving kindness for them. You can hope that they can get healthy, but it's difficult. Yeah. You wonder what brings them to that. I think what I might do, uh, since it is uh, kind of long, is I might just read through the uh, phrases just for ourselves again. Uh, and we can use that uh, to look at what we might take into the day today. And then if you wish to go through this um, later for others, I'll try very faithfully to remember to send this out to people today. I don't seem to be very good at that. But. So let's just listen to it uh, one more time. Buddhist loving kindness or metta practice counteracts the sense of powerlessness that contributes to the anxiety of not experiencing that all will be well. Metta practice also awakens compassion and reminds us of our interdependence. It can be an antidote to the usual selfish sense of happiness which prioritizes our well being and ignores or denies responsibility for the well being of others. I offer this version of loving kindness practice adapted from meditation teacher Stephen Smith. We begin with loving ourselves, for unless we have a measure of this unconditional love and acceptance for ourselves, it is difficult to extend it to others. Then we include others who are special to us and ultimately all living things. Gradually, both the visualization and the meditation phrases blend into the actual experience, the feeling of loving kindness. Take a comfortable posture and begin to focus around your heart center, breathing in and out from that area. Next, evoke a kind feeling towards yourself. Drop beneath any areas of self-judgment or self-hatred to the place where we care for ourselves where we want strength and health and safety for ourselves. Continuing to breathe in and out, use either these traditional phrases or ones you choose for yourself. Say or think them several times. May I be free from inner and outer harm and danger. May I be safe and protected. May I be free of mental suffering or distress. May I be happy. May I be free of physical pain and suffering. May I be healthy and strong. May I be able to live in this world happily, peacefully, joyfully with ease. What might we take from this meditation practice into the day or the week? Very good. I will try and send this out so that 
folks can experiment with us. Susan, what would you like to read this morning? It's me. Oh, that's, I'm sorry? That's Betsy. Betsy. Uh, the first one. Okay. Betsy or Susan? What would you... <laughs> <laughs> oh, ruler of the universe, Lord God, great deeds are they that you have done, surpassing human understanding. Your ways are ways of righteousness and truth, O king of all the ages. Who can fail to do you homage, Lord, and sing the praises of your name? For you are only, for you only are the Holy One. All nations will draw near and fall down before you, because your just and holy works have been revealed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Save your people, Lord, and bless your inheritance. Govern and uphold them now and always. Day by day, we bless you. We praise your name forever. Lord, keep us from all sin today. Have mercy upon us, Lord. Have mercy. Lord, show us your love and mercy. For we put our trust in you. In you, Lord, is our hope and we shall never hope in vain. Spirit of companionship and caring, we express our heartfelt gratitude for the company of our friends and family through whom we experience your gift of love. Help us to burst the bonds of self-concern and to extend to all those with whom we come in contact the priceless riches of compassion and empathy so that in our time, we may truly experience the heaven on earth that you have offered to us through the power of the Christ within us. Amen. We have intercessions and thanksgivings to share this morning. For Yvonne, June, and Kathy. For all those who need abortions who can't get them. For Amy and Carol. For peace in our world. Heavenly Father, in you we live and move and have our being. We humbly pray you so to guide and govern us by your Holy Spirit, that in all the cares and occupations of our life, we may not forget you, but may remember that we are ever walking in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, make me an instrument. Oh, I'm sorry. Sorry, Betsy. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. 
Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O divine master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive, it is in pardoning that we are pardoned, and it is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen. Amen.